Released in February 1997, it's Casio's Cassiopeia A11 Pocket PC. I saw an advertisement for this thing in an old copy of PC World magazine from January 1997. The funny thing is, only a few pages later, Compaq actually had an advertisement for what looked like the exact same thing. I looked up the history of it, and sure enough, Casio Private labeled it for Compaq as well. I doubt that they compared notes and realized that they would be advertising only a few pages apart in the same magazine. I thought that was pretty funny. I vividly remember playing with these in CompUSA when they came out when I was about 12 years old. Never did I imagine that such an opulent display of wealth would be readily available to me 27 years later for next to nothing. I recently snagged this on eBay for about 25 bucks. The operating system is Microsoft Windows CE 1.0 Handheld PC Edition. The CPU is a Hitachi SH3 at 44 megahertz. This particular model comes with four megabytes of RAM. Woo, four megabytes, wow. It's got an expansion slot on it. It's a PCMCIA Type 2 card. I have a PCMCIA to CF adapter on order, so when it comes, I'll have to make another video transferring and playing Doom on this. We'll see if I could get Doom Windows CE version working. That'd be pretty cool, so stay tuned for that. It also has some kind of proprietary looking serial connector. If the PCMCIA adapter doesn't work, I can try to figure out how to connect through that maybe. I found the original instructions in PDF and it says in order to connect it to a desktop via that connection, you need that specialized cable and a desktop computer, wow. It takes two AA batteries, which according to Casio, allowed up to 20 hours of running time. The batteries come out pretty easily here. It also takes a standard CR2032 coin type battery for memory protection, which I was sure it was very dead when I got it. So I went ahead and swapped it out with a brand new one so I don't have to reset all the settings every time I start it up. It comes with a stylus that slides right out here. So let's go ahead and boot it up and check it out. One thing to note is that when I was initially trying to get it to boot up, it wasn't starting. And I noticed that this thing on the back, it was very irritating. It says you've got a normal position and then you've got, no, don't do it like how it currently is. So apparently this has to be to the left in order to work. That was a big pain in the butt because it wasn't starting up and I was thinking, oh no, it's broken. But no, it's not broken. That thing just needed to be slid over to the side. So let's go ahead and start it. It works. So also when I got it, it said four parts not working, but the contrast was all the way up. And look at that, looks like it's broken, but nope, it's not. Ah, it works great. So we'll go ahead and go through the prompts to get it set up initially. Since I replaced that battery, it should save all of it. So we'll go ahead and press enter, press enter. Let's see, it's now it needs to go ahead and uh, calibrate the stylus. Calibration complete. Go ahead and adjust the contrast a little bit more so you can see it better. I'll try to get it a little closer so that way you can see the screen a little bit better. We'll skip some of these settings. There it is, Windows CE. Let's see what's on here. It's got all kinds of cool stuff. It's got an inbox for email. It's got your contacts, tasks, calendar. Microsoft Pocket Word, that's pretty cool. Microsoft Pocket Excel, look at that. Let's see what's in the My Handheld PC. It's got Control Panel, My Documents, Program Files, Windows. This Windows CE was pretty cool for the time. We'll go ahead and explore some of the programs. Ooh, it's got games, let's see what it's got. Of course it has Solitaire on it. Let's go ahead and check it out. I think uh, I'll go to a coffee shop and pull this sucker out and start playing Solitaire on it sometime and just see uh, how uh, people react. Go ahead and get out of there. So apparently you could use a PCMCIA modem for this to get onto the internet and access your email and various things. Let's go ahead and check out Microsoft Pocket Word.
Pretty cool. No, I don't want to save that. This is a pretty nifty little gadget. Like I said, I'll have to make another video of this. I'll try to get Doom working on it. That'd be pretty awesome. And uh, we'll go from there. So consider this part one in the PDA series. Although I did already do a video on the Magic Link, the Sony Magic Link, if you want to check that out, which actually predates this by a couple years. Uh, but uh, I love these PDAs. They're very cool. They were uh, way ahead of their time, in my opinion. This is kind of where it started, the idea of having a computer in your pocket, which of course we all have nowadays, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it. Anyways, like I said, I'll pull this sucker out again in a future video. Just wanted to do a quick highlight. I thought it was pretty cool. A score that I snagged on eBay recently. Thanks for watching.